Hey everybody, it's me, and I'm back with some more Glide functionality. This has been requested a few times by different users, and this one is how to remove items from a list for a particular user after they've already selected that item. So for example here, here's my form, here's the person, and here I have a list of teams that they can associate themselves with. And what we want is after they've chosen team one from this list, then they won't be able to choose it again a second time. So here I've chosen team one, I'll submit. In my sheet, you can see that now this person has been associated to team one. And if I go back into the form again and choose that same person, okay, we'll see that team one is no longer available to choose from the list. So here if I choose team five, for example, again, you see now I have team one and team five associated to this person. And now team one and team five will no longer be available to select from the future. So here is how I was able to get that to work. First off, this relies on users having to be able to sign into your app and having user profile sheets set up. So here I have a user profile sheet where I have the name, the email, and the image of that person. And I have three different sheets. I have a person sheet, I have an items sheet, or in this case, a teams sheet, and then I have that log sheet. In this case, it's going to be like a membership sheet or some sort of form submission sheet where it's going to concatenate all those values together. Okay, in the data table, for my first sheet where just all the people are being held, I also have a person ID here along with the person name and the person email, and this is using the row ID column. In my second sheet, which is my team's sheet, I have my team names and then my team ID, which again is another row ID. And it says, I'm gonna associate a random ID to that team. I have a couple of more columns here that I'll talk about in just a second. In my third sheet, I have a membership ID, which again is another row ID column. And then the person ID and the team ID, which is being written from that form button. I have two relations, one for the person and one for the team, where it's gonna link that ID that's being written back to the original ID of that person. And then I have some lookups and I'm looking up the person email and I'm looking up the team name or the item. And then the magic is where I'm gonna link them together using a template column. So this template column is linking the person's email address to the team name. I could have simply done this using the choice menus, but in case the email changes or in case the team changes, uh, the team name that is changes, um, this relation will always stay true. All right, so then after they've, this has been uh, concatenated here by the person and then the team, right? I now, I'm gonna create a relation between this value and the value of the items that are to be limited. So in my case, that's teams. So that's in my second sheet. So in my second sheet, I wanna create this exact same structure um, so where I can then create a relation. So I need to get the user's email address followed by a dash, followed by the team name. And to get that to work, because this is you leveraging the user profiles, what I did was I created a template column here under the Teams sheet that is grabbing the current user's email address. So now that I have the email address, I can link it to the team names that have already been written in this sheet. And so I created a, now a template column here that's linking the current user's email and the team name. And so now I have an identical column to that of that's been already been written. As you see here, team one and team one. Okay. And then all I have to do is create a relation between this item and this item. So I create a relation in the team sheet, in my second sheet here, and uh, my relation just is simply where the email team matches the values in that third sheet template email team. And so now I have um, these two relations because those are the two teams that I had selected previously. All right, so now that all of that has been done on the back end, in order to get that form choice to be limited, all we're gonna do is search whether there's a relation or not. So back in my form, right, uh, the team's choices is the one that's gonna be limited. So in the team's choice menu, in the features section, I'm filtering where that memberships, where that relation that we created is empty. Because if it's empty, that means it hasn't already been selected. 
And so here you can see that team one is missing and team five is missing because there's a relation for team one and a relation for team five. And that's it. So this is how you can get your users to only select teams that they uh, haven't yet chosen. If I preview this as a different user, let's say, and I would have to probably write this person to a sheet first. So let's give another user here. All right, so for the person here, I gotta give a shoot a refresh. All right, so now I can choose demo. And for the team, I can now choose one through six because I haven't yet selected anything yet. All right, so now demo has been assigned to team four, which means if I choose demo again, team four will not be an option. Now, one caveat to all of this is the fact that the user has to be the one that's signing themselves up for these teams. If an admin is the one signing up a person to a team on their behalf, this logic no longer works because the current signed in user will be the admin and not the person that we're assigning. All right, so hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.